Hi y'all, it's Alice with Vintage EL18. So I'm already prepping for little gifts for the teachers for Valentine's Day. And I um, only have two bags actually. And I'm going to pretty much gesso the third bag. But this is the bag I'm talking about. I was gifted these bags from a swap and they're so perfect. Um, but so I'm just going to use what I have. One of this is going to be for the librarian, one for my daughter's teacher, and one for my son's teacher. And so, um, I thought I'd give these a try and see how it looks. Um, I'm just going to gesso it. I've never played around with, um, you know, fix, trying to redo a bag. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to gesso so I could hide the orange a bit and that trick-or-treat. Of course, I'm going to put stuff on top of there. What I'm using, I'm thinking of probably putting this on top and then, of course, that vintage book sheet and then this um what are they called like the library pocket cards and that is from the pebbles collection and that's this one right here library tags by pebbles okay so that's what i'm thinking of doing so let me just get this going and so this should cover it up fairly well i also have a cardboard in this bag And so maybe I'll do both sides. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I think I will do both sides. But of course, I'm only going to do the front right now. Just so I can let it dry up. Okay, so we're going to set that to the side. Let me just pause this and I'm going to bring the other bags this way. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to be using the Mod Podge and I've also put a little um, cardboard there in between. I'll just open this up. And first I'm going to take my vintage piece of paper. I'm going to place this It's okay if a little bit comes out, just use your hands and kind of place it right on the corner. That way your corners don't lift. Okay, so that's looking like that. So I'm not sure. I kind of maybe wanted to add um, some gesso just to... kind of dull it a little bit I guess so let me do that let me see how that looks put some of this to the side so I could use in the other bag See how that looks? I kind of like that look. That's what I was going for right there. Okay, so now with this, I yeah, I think I'm gonna do the Mod Podge there as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my library tag and just Mod Podge that. Just 
just going to put that in the center. And so that's how that looks. Let me let this dry up a little bit and let me work on this other one and check on my other bag as the gesso is drying. Okay, so this is the second one that I did. Let me just set that to a side over here. And um, I just kind of wanted to show you the progress on this one that I gessoed. Just, um, you got to check on it as it's drying because it started sticking on the top here. So I just took a little uh, blade to lift it and so it was easy to lift like that. Um, and also we got stuck back here so I'll probably have to put like a different sheet up here to make this bag a little bit sturdier since it is missing some of the pieces there but um, so far so good it's looking good I mean I covered most of it and um, so I've achieved what I've wanted and I'm going to let that set for a little bit I'll be right back to show you um, the papers I'm going to put on top okay so I ended up just doing a very quick little dry on the back or um, how should I say it? I guess not so thick of a consistency like I did in the front just so it could dry up a little bit faster and I am going to just put this right here up in the front and lower it a little bit. I'm lowering it a little bit closer to the bottom because I'm still probably going to fold up there um, to keep all the goodies inside. I'll probably put some granola bar or candy bars or something in here some treats in here or I'll just staple it with the cute little topper I'm not sure exactly um, I probably won't show you the finished product until we get closer to um, to the day or maybe even tomorrow I'll just put some mock candy for the meantime so you could see how it's gonna look Let me put this right here. and again just add it um, Mod Podge to these pieces right here. And that's how that looks. Let me let that set a little bit. Okay, so these are the finished bags. Like I said, I'm not sure exactly what toppers I'm going to put on them. I might put some pretty little paper that matches this right here on the top and staple it. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty much done. In the back, I'll probably do another um, vintage uh, book sheet there just to kind of make, let it, you know, kind of flow. If anything, I'll put this piece if I don't think that that, I'm not sure. I kind of like that a little bit more. So that's what I'm thinking, that I might put something like this to make this bag a little bit sturdier because it is a, a bit thinner than the brown bags. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and I'll be back with more. Bye